Okay, here we're going to be reviewing the LIFO inventory reserve allowance. And this LIFO reserve allowance adjusts our FIFO inventories at a LIFO basis, and we use it to make it easier to compare companies that aren't using the LIFO basis. And our examples here, we're going to be looking at converting the FIFO inventory and cost of goods sold to the LIFO basis. But before we do that, we're going to go through an example here and show how our FIFO inventory is calculated and also how our LIFO inventory is calculated. Okay, let's look at our inventory here as first in, first out, or FIFO. This is where we use our oldest inventory first. So any items purchased or manufactured first will be sold first. So our cost of goods sold for the inventory here would be using our oldest prices. And that's what's reflected on our income statement, those oldest prices for our inventory. Now what remains in our inventory would be our ending inventory. Now that would reflect here our newest inventory or our most recent prices. Now that is what we include here in inventory account on our balance sheet. Now our balance sheet would have the current cost or the newest inventory. Whereas our income statement or what we recognize here as a cost of goods sold would have our older prices because that's the inventory we use first, this oldest inventory. Okay, let's look at inventory as last in, first out, or LIFO. This is where we use our newest inventory first. So the items that we most recently purchased or manufactured would be sold first. And that's what we recognize here as our cost of goods sold for our inventory, our income statement. So the income statement has the current sales matched with current costs. And what remains here in our end in ending inventory would be our oldest inventory. And those would be our oldest prices for our inventory. And that's what would be included here in our inventory account on our balance sheet. Now that balance sheet here would have these older costs for our ending inventory. Whereas our income statement, that used our most recent costs or our current costs for our inventory. Okay, let's continue on with our example here for our FIFO and LIFO inventory methods and make the comparison between them. And we'll be using these same tables that we have been using. And this is where we've got our oldest or lowest priced inventory listed here on the top. And as we move down the table, we get down to our newest and higher priced inventory. So our model here is based on increasing prices or increasing costs for our inventory. So let's look at our FIFO first. Now this is where we used our oldest inventory first, and that would be our higher, our lower priced inventory. And then what remains here would be our newer inventory, which have a, would have a higher price, and that would be our ending inventory. Now let's look at the case here where we actually used $48,000 worth of inventory, and that would have gone to our, been recorded here as our cost of goods sold on our income statement. So our ending inventory here would be our, say our beginning inventory of $140,000 less what we use here $48,000 so our ending inventory would be $92,000 and that's what would be on our balance sheet. Now let's move over here and look at our LIFO inventory. Now this is where we used our newest inventory first and that would be the higher cost inventory. Now our ending inventory that would be our older inventory or our lower priced inventory. So looking here at uh, taking the example here where we used $92,000 worth of inventory. So that would be our cost of goods sold that goes to our income statement. So our ending inventory here would be the $140,000 worth of inventory that we ha had on hand less the uh, $92,000 that we used here and then our ending inventory would be $48,000. So you can see between our LIFO and FIFO, we definitely have a difference here in our uh, inventory value. So uh, on our balance sheet here, we had $48,000 worth of ending inventory here for our LIFO versus $92,000 here for our FIFO. So we have an increase here uh, from the LIFO to the FIFO. Now for our cost of goods sold, uh, for our LIFO here, we had recorded $92,000 worth of cost of goods sold. And then for our FIFO, we had $48,000 worth of cost of goods sold. So you can see that we had a decrease here uh, in our 
in our cost of goods sold when we went from the LIFO to the FIFO. So this is where our LIFO reserve comes in and that is where we're going to be able to uh, account for the difference between these two methods. So this LIFO reserve really is equal to our FIFO valuation minus our LIFO valuation and we'll go through that now. Okay, our LIFO reserve, that equals our FIFO inventory valuation minus our LIFO inventory valuation. And what I'll be using is our ending inventories that we previously calculated for FIFO and LIFO. So looking here at our FIFO, we had a $92,000 ending inventory. And then for our LIFO, we had a $48,000 ending in inventory. So the difference between the two gives us our LIFO reserve here of $44,000. So we credit our LIFO reserve for $44,000 or increase it for $44,000. Now remember this LIFO reserve is a contra account to our FIFO inventory account. So looking at our FIFO inventory uh, valuation here of $92,000 uh, debit amount and then subtracting out here this credit of a LIFO reserve of $44,000 that would equal a uh, inventory here on our LIFO basis of $48,000. So this LIFO reserve adjusted our FIFO inventory to the LIFO basis. Now we can also adjust here our cost of goods sold from FIFO to LIFO. And we do that by taking our, in this case, a credit amount here in our LIFO reserve of $44,000. And then we'd balance it here with a debit amount here in our cost of goods sold of $44,000. And then taking our FIFO uh, cost of goods sold here of $48,000, adding to it this $44,000, we come up with $92,000 cost of good, goods on our LIFO basis. And that equals what we previously calculated here for our LIFO cost of goods of $92,000. Okay, to summarize, to determine your LIFO reserve, first off, you'd have to be able to value your inventory on a FIFO basis and on the LIFO basis. And then taking the difference between your inventory valuations here for your FIFO and for your LIFO, you can determine your LIFO reserve amount. Now this LIFO reserve is a contra account to your FIFO inventory account here. So what it does here is it converts your FIFO inventory to your LIFO basis. And it also it can adjust here your cost of goods sold from the FIFO to the LIFO basis. So using this um, LIFO reserve, you can determine your balance sheet for what the LIFO inventory should be, and you can also determine on your income statement what the cost of goods sold should be for your LIFO basis. Now, also one last note here. This LIFO reserve can either be an increasing or decreasing amount here, dep depending on whether you got uh, price uh, inflation or price deflation or price increases or price decreases.